Imagine a world where instead of one, there are three big glowing balls of fire lighting up the sky. This might sound like something from a movie, but it's real. Scientists have found a new planet that's not too far away, only 22 light years from us, where this amazing sight is real. And get this, it's not the first time they found a planet like this. There's another one called Proxima b, which is circling around a star called Proxima Centauri. This star is part of a group with two other stars, making it a triple star system. Now what's really cool is how these three stars play with each other. They're constantly tugging and pulling because of gravity. Just like a puzzle that's been baffling scientists for a long time, it's called the three-body problem in astronomy. So this discovery isn't just exciting because of the three suns, but also because it's helping us solve a big cosmic mystery. Lately, more than just scientists are talking about the three-body problem. Thanks to a popular science fiction series on Netflix, it's catching the attention of a lot of people. In this show, they create a made-up world with three suns, showing how crazy things can get in such a system. The story follows an alien civilization, dealing with all the problems that come with having three suns. It's not easy for them because their environment is always changing and unstable. This makes for a gripping storyline that pulls viewers into thinking about what it would really be like to live in such a place. So, even though it's fiction, it gets us thinking about the real-life challenges that could come with figuring out how systems with multiple stars work, it's like a fun way to explore some big scientific ideas. To really grasp why the three-body problem is such a big deal, let's go back in time to 1687. That's when a famous scientist named Isaac Newton shared his groundbreaking ideas in a book called The Universal Law of Gravitation. Newton's big discovery was about how objects are attracted to each other because of gravity. He figured out a way to use math to understand how two things, like the Earth and the Sun, move around each other. This was huge because it let scientists predict exactly where planets would go and how the moon moves around the Earth. So, Newton's laws gave us a solid way to understand the motions of two objects in space, which was a big deal back then. But things get tricky when you add a third object into the mix, like in a system with three stars. That's where the three-body problem comes in, and it's been puzzling scientists ever since. Adding a third object to the equation makes things way more complicated, the three-body problem shows us that Newton's laws aren't enough when dealing with systems with more than two things interacting. Here's why it's tough. Each object's movement gets messed up by the other two. Their positions keep changing, so the gravitational forces they create are always shifting. It's like trying to solve a puzzle with moving pieces, not easy at all. But over the years, mathematicians and physicists have been working hard on this problem. They've made some big breakthroughs in understanding how things move in space. People like OAL Range and Panker came up with new math tricks and learned a lot about how these systems work. Even though it's still really tricky, studying the three-body problem has helped us learn a ton about how stuff moves around in space. It's like untangling a really complicated not slow progress, but we're getting there. The three-body problem is super tough to figure out because it's really chaotic. Even tiny changes in how things start can make a huge difference later on. This idea is kind of like the butterfly effect where something small like a butterfly flapping its wings can cause a big change like a hurricane weeks later. So, when it comes to the three-body problem, the exact positions and speeds of the three objects at the beginning can totally change what happens to them in the future. Even a tiny tweak in the starting setup can lead to totally different outcomes. This makes it really hard to guess where things will end up over time. In fact, sometimes it feels almost impossible to make long-term predictions about how these objects will move and interact with each other. It's like trying to predict the weather far in advance, really tricky. Let's take a look at something more familiar, solar eclipses. They're a good example of what we call a restricted three-body problem. Here's why. In this situation, the Sun and the Earth are the big players, pulling on each other with their gravity. But even though the Moon is much smaller compared to them, it's still important. The Moon's position is crucial, because it can line up just right with the Sun and the Earth to create the eclipse we see. Now why does this matter practically? Well, think about something called the Lagrange points. These are special spots in a two-body system, like the Earth and the Sun, where a smaller object can kind of hang out without getting pulled away. These points pop up because there's a balance between the gravity of the big bodies and the centrifugal force pushing on the smaller one. So, even though it might seem complicated, we see examples of the three-body problem in everyday things like solar eclipses. And understanding these concepts helps us make sense of how stuff moves around in space. The James Webb Space Telescope is a great example of how we use special points in space like the L2 Lagrange point to our advantage. It's positioned there in what we call a halo orbit. This smart setup helps the telescope stay pretty steady compared to the Earth and the Sun. This means it doesn't need a lot of fuel to keep its orbit in check, and it always gets enough sunlight for power, and can keep talking to us here on Earth without any interruptions. 
Now, stability is super important when we're dealing with systems with three or more bodies. Some setups, like the Lagrange points, can stay stable for a long time, but others aren't so lucky. In those cases, things can get pretty chaotic. The bodies might start swinging around unpredictably and eventually one of them might get flung away or crash into another. Understanding what makes a system stable is key if we want to know what'll happen over a long time. By studying how these multi-body systems move, scientists can learn a lot about what conditions might be right for life to pop up, and that's really important stuff to know. In our quest to find planets outside our solar system that might be suitable for life, understanding how multiple stars in a system can affect their habitability is crucial. Figuring out the three-body problem also brings big advantages for space exploration. Being able to predict exactly where spacecraft will go in systems with many bodies is vital for planning missions efficiently and safely. Whether it's traveling around our Earth and Moon, exploring Jupiter's moons, or reaching distant asteroids, knowing how things move in these complex systems helps us use fuel wisely, avoid crashes and make missions successful. Furthermore, solving the three-body problem isn't just about exploring space. It also helps us understand the long-term stability of our own solar system. While the Sun's gravity is the big force in our neighborhood, other planets and objects have small but still important effects on each other. Over millions and billions of years, these interactions can subtly change orbits, or even kick smaller objects out of the solar system entirely. By getting better at modeling how three bodies interact, we can improve our predictions about how our cosmic home will evolve in the future. The three-body problem has always fascinated scientists and mathematicians, but its influence goes beyond the academic world. Thanks to the Netflix series it's reached a whole new audience of curious minds worldwide. The star system portrayed in the show with its three suns creates a fictional universe filled with unpredictability and chaos. While the scenarios presented are imaginative, they provoke important questions about the challenges life might face elsewhere in the universe. Although the show's scientific basis is impressive, it sometimes goes beyond what we currently understand or agree upon in the scientific community. It ventures into speculative territory, where ideas might not align with what we know for sure. Nonetheless, it sparked genuine scientific inquiries and discussions about the potential for life in systems with multiple stars. So, while we enjoy the entertainment, it's also an opportunity to think deeply about the real scientific questions it raises. The technology depicted in the story is undeniably fascinating. However, some people might argue that it stretches scientific principles a bit too much, potentially confusing those who aren't deeply familiar with physics about what's realistically achievable. Yet, it's at the intersection of science and imagination where we find a powerful force that propels both scientific advancement and public interest in complex concepts. This fusion of scientific rigor and creative speculation encourages a deeper appreciation for the marvels of the universe and the ongoing pursuit of knowledge. For over 300 years, scientists and thinkers have been captivated by the mysteries of the cosmos, using both logic and creativity to push the boundaries of understanding. While it's important to ground our speculations in scientific principles, exploring imaginative possibilities can inspire new ideas and perspectives, enriching our understanding of the world around us. The three-body problem has long puzzled physicists and mathematicians, defying attempts to find a general solution that accurately predicts the movements of three celestial bodies influenced by mutual gravitational attraction. However, with the help of modern supercomputers and their immense computational power, scientists have recently made a significant breakthrough. They've identified around 12,000 specific stable configurations where three objects can orbit each other. Remarkably, these configurations fit within the framework of Isaac Newton's laws of motion. This achievement not only advances our understanding of celestial mechanics but also demonstrates the remarkable potential of computational science in solving previously daunting problems. By shedding light on the intricate interactions between cosmic objects and their adherence to the fundamental laws of physics, this breakthrough opens new avenues for exploring the cosmos and deepens our appreciation for the complexity of the universe. Each breakthrough, whether it's finding a new solution or discovering a new application, brings us a step closer to understanding the mysteries of celestial motion and the possibility of life beyond Earth. The three-body problem isn't just about physics. It's also a powerful metaphor for the human condition. It reflects our natural inclination to seek order in chaos and to make sense of the intricate world around us. Through the lens of this problem, we come face to face with the limits of our knowledge and the challenges of predicting the future. Yet, it's precisely this uncertainty and complexity that ignite our curiosity and propel us forward. Despite the difficulties, we persist in our quest for understanding, driven by an innate desire to unravel the secrets of the universe. Each discovery, each new insight brings us closer to fulfilling that quest and expands our understanding of the cosmos and our place within it.
Indeed, the three-body problem transcends mere mathematics and science. It embodies the essence of the human spirit, our relentless quest for knowledge and understanding. It symbolizes the eternal dance of celestial bodies that shape our cosmos. As we delve deeper into unraveling its secrets, we not only push the boundaries of scientific exploration, but also strengthen our connection to the awe-inspiring universe that surrounds us. Each discovery, each step forward in understanding brings us closer to the heart of the cosmos and enriches our appreciation of its beauty and complexity. In this ongoing journey we find not only answers but also a profound sense of wonder and connection to the vastness of existence. I really hope you enjoyed this video, if you did then please tap the like button and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.